Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 17th, 2022. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now, as we get into this, I am hoping to have the Archangel Aerial Meditation Challenge already loaded, so be sure to check that out. That is going to be over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. I have tons of other Archangel Meditation Challenges over there, lots of other content, including an Archangel Sandalfin video that you can get on over there and check out. I can have more content coming on that. But Archangel Ariel is incredibly important because she resonates with animals, the earth, which we need so much right now, but also detoxing, material manifestation, law of attraction, all that good stuff, prosperity, abundance. So make sure you get over there and check it out. If you're thinking about getting a personal reading with me, now would be the time to get in line because I am going to be spending the entire weekend getting caught up on those. That is angelsouls444.com. All terms apply. All right. So let's just dive right in. For this week, I mean, we have some weather coming here in the United States, but I feel like we can just kind of dive into the cards and see what we are going to be dealing with and what we need to be aware of. So if everyone would just close their eyes, breathe with me here. Let's see what we have. Okay. So the first card out we have Knight of Gabriel. Okay, so before I even read this card, it feels like we're learning how to shift and go with the flow. That's how I want to start that. So whatever has been happening, whatever is asking for your attention, whatever is asking for a creative solution <laughs> or to be reborn, you're going to have maybe maybe not all of the details in place, but you're going to start getting a better idea of how you want to move forward and what you want to change, okay? So this says confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Time to take action. <laughs> Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. And I think that's the part that gets us. Now, I believe we're in Mercury retrograde right now, so maybe it's not the time to take action, but it's time to plan the action. It's time to get ready for something new. So this might be stepping out of your comfort zone. This might be um, going after something that you thought was long done, never coming back, and here it is, all right? So I think there's a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of passion here, and there is a lot of just creative life force. That's what I want to say about that. A lot of creative life force. So this is not something to push on. It's not something to, you know, <laughs> try to force that story out of you or force that music or force whatever, right? Uh, work project. But um, definitely you're going to start seeing some pieces fall into place, which is nice. Six of Ariel, there's Ariel, okay? Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So things get moving a little bit despite, um, you know, the Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so there, this could be an opportunity, but this is more of a, like a great idea coming through and you figure out how to make it work in the material world. So you find your balance, you see the scales there, well, hopefully you can see that a little bit there. Uh, so you're finding your balance and that is how you are going to be able to create. If you are out of balance, if you are uh, in an angry state or an entitled state or something like that, then this isn't going to work out so well for you. So be working on your energy. Make sure you're very, very grounded in your approach. Well, okay. So we have two of Raphael. <laughs> two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful, kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. So that is interesting with all these other cards. I guess we could tell some of you couples out there that if you are expecting a baby or, you know, you're worried about how you're going to afford a child, don't worry. Okay, you can work together to make something happen. Now, for those of you out there who are like, yeah, but what about me? <laughs> I'm not in a relationship or blah, blah, blah. You could meet someone through work. You could be meeting someone soon. Just be careful. Again, retrogrades, don't mess with them, okay? But more than anything, what I feel this is saying in the context of this card spread so far is that don't go it alone. It's time to partner up with somebody, but make sure you're very discerning 
as you do this. So this could be someone who, you know, comes along, maybe you've been really struggling with a creative project or a work project, or just, you know, struggling to figure out how you want to move forward. And someone comes with a great idea, or again, that opportunity, maybe this is someone who is delivering that opportunity to you. And suddenly it's like, ah, oh, this is exactly what I needed so that I can, you know, make ends meet, or <laughs> this is exactly what I needed so I can feel at peace. That is so funny. So this is Archangel Osra, who's all about transformation. We'll pull more cards here, but this is no, this is no small thing, okay? So you're coming to peace with having a fresh start. Uh, there, there's this feeling here of wanting to leave something behind, although we don't have that card here of leaving something behind, but <laughs> it says release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Of course, we are in times that are unlike any other. We are not able to go back to the way things were. And so we are having to reinvent ourselves. We are having to come to peace with what is. This is acceptance, right? And when we do that, and maybe we accept that the way we've been living no longer works. Maybe you can't eat the way that you used to. Maybe you can't exercise the way that you used to. Maybe what you used to do for a living, you just, it, it's not you anymore, right? So this is asking us to evolve, but to be at peace with that transformation. So what are we talking about there? We're talking about when someone shows up or let's say an opportunity shows up and you say, no, 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 I'm just stuck in my ways. I'm gonna do it the way I've always done it and that's all there is to it. Well, you're going to not have a great time here. There's gonna be a lot of things pushing on you to take a different route, uh, to revamp what you already have been doing. And I feel like, because you know, a lot of everything that's happened over the last two years, it's hit a lot of us financially, okay? And I think this is talking about realizing how you can have more stability in your life and maybe that stability coming through a partner. So again, whether you're partnering up with an agent or you're working with your boss or some colleagues or um, you're gonna have a business partner or you are having to figure out your finances with your, you know, a loved one or something along those lines, whatever it is, again, it, it's something that comes along and is helping us balance. But if we look at it and we say, no, nah, that would never work for me. If you doubt it, if you say, no, that's not, you know, that's not what my education is in. I hear that all the time. <laughs> it's not what I studied. Therefore, I can't try anything outside of what I studied and chose to study when I was 18 years old. I mean, come on, <laughs> if you're my age, you probably have some different goals. So that's what it is. It's, it's getting, and I say this to my clients all the time, we always constantly have to get to know who we are in this new stage, right? Because we're always growing and developing. So this is our chance to stop and reevaluate. You might even wanna work with Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah is all about life review. So just kind of look at what's working, what doesn't bring me joy anymore, okay? So if you are, feeling stagnant in a living situation, in a relationship, in work, whatever it is, okay? Maybe you've been taking on charitable projects and it's not what you thought, you know, you didn't really sign up for all of this. This is the time where maybe you don't make the forward motion just yet, but it all makes sense. It's all coming together. And you're saying, aha, I get it now. There is a random card sitting over here. What? <laughs> Okay, there's just a card sitting there. I guess I didn't pick up the whole deck, so we'll take it. Knight of Ariel, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There's so much to accomplish. Uh, make a very detailed plan. Be watched over by someone kind. So yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, like somebody is coming along here and helping out a little bit, but what was that first thing? There's so much to accomplish. Yeah, I, I think these, for a lot of people watching this, this would be something that you've wanted to change for a while, but didn't think that you could. And now the door is opening. That's the feeling I'm getting here. And whoops, did I hold up this card? Here you go. <laughs> Here's this card. Um, so that's what I think is going on here. We have somebody who's coming along, who sees something in you. Um, I, could it be a love partnership? Yeah, with this card, the two of Raphael, sure. Um, is it more, like I say, like business partnership? Let's work together. Someone has, some, for some of you, look at this, the Knight of Ariel and the Six of Ariel, this might be actually getting with a trustworthy accountant. Here in the United States, a lot of us are getting our taxes ready. 
This could be, it's something that's been hanging over your head and it might have to do with finances and someone comes along to help you out. Maybe it's a financial planner. Maybe actually you're starting to make enough money now where you can help or get someone to help you uh, work on all of that. But it's a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough moment that doesn't get to play out for a few more weeks, okay? <laughs> so it's sort of like that. So let's get these cards here. I haven't used these in a while card kind of flopping out there innocence yeah this feels like again there's two people on here someone is someone has your back someone wants to partner up with you in one way or another and it's almost as if you can be kind of childlike with one another you know what I mean so this has this feeling of uh life is too short I'm going to enjoy things while I can I want to do work that makes me happy and you'd be surprised, you know, let's say, cause I always use the example, we all, and I've done this myself, where we're all like, oh, those corporate jobs, stinky, stinky, don't do it, <laughs> right? <laughs> Go make candles for a living. And everybody starts their Etsy shop and then they realize, well, dang, everybody's doing some crafty little thing that they're trying to sell and this doesn't provide stability and I'm constantly stressed about this, that, and the other, or what have you, and then, the stability isn't looking so bad, right? And you're thinking of the good old days where you used to just do data entry or whatever, I'm just making this up. <laughs> you used to just come into work every day, say hi to your coworkers, do data entry, collect the health insurance and the paycheck and go home, right? So, you know, it can work either way, depending on your particular situation. Let's get another card here. All right. Okay, well, that was me. You know how I work. <laughs> Dear. Let's try that again. Things are going to get moving here, but again, you know, don't sign contracts right now. Give that a little bit more time. But there's a nice setup coming, an awakening. A awakening to that's not me anymore. That's what this feels like. I'm waking up and going, you know what, I, I outgrew that a long time ago. Or you know what, I'm not getting the kind of growth out of this or um, maybe, you know, here's the thing. For any of you who are in a healing profession, especially if you do uh, spiritual readings, okay, you might find that that kind of work, you know, maybe people get a little too dependent on you or any kind of healing profession, even if you're a doctor or whatever, if you have people who are constantly being concerned and having, you know, get a phone call from them every day saying, I can't, you know, make a move until I know that this is okay. You might awaken and go, you know what? I'm attracting in those kinds of people because I'm a people pleaser or I am codependent or whatever, you know, like you start to realize some sort of pattern within you that is attracting in the type of, you know, interactions that you have every day. And now you start to shift. Okay. And from that shift, maybe you go, you know what, this would be really fun. I haven't allowed myself to even think about something new because I was too busy uh, keeping up with what was already on my plate. And so now that frees up a little bit of your perspective. Let's just say that <laughs> now you're putting some focus on what would really truly make you happy and you see the steps on how to do that. So that's kind of nice. Wait until towards the end of the week. I bet that's gonna really start, oh, opening up for us all. Did we have this last week, red? <laughs> Free yourself from pain, the number is two. Again, this idea of balancing, being harmonious, and doing what you really love, not what you think you should have to do because of other circumstances in your life. I think we are getting a message here that when we do what we love or um, it is kind of follow your heart, release yourself from all this pressure, you're now in the flow, things can start coming your way. And uh, the breakthrough energy is pretty big, but it has to do not just with outward circumstances, but something that we shift within us. All right, so we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.